When you're filming, there are a couple of things that you want to think about with relation to sound. Now, if your budget allows it, I would always recommend that you get an external microphone or external sound recorder, for example. So right now, I'm recording this video off my iPhone, but I'm also using a external sound recorder to record my audio. So this one is a Zoom H6n. There are loads on the market. Um, there are other different types of microphones you can use. For example, you could use a lapel microphone, which are the little microphones that stick to your shirt or your, your jumper, for example. You could also use something like a shotgun microphone, which normally fit on the end of a camera, or you'll see them if you've seen a film set, they have a boom pole and they have the shotgun microphone on there. Please don't worry if you don't have any of those, because actually smartphones today have really great microphones, and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how you can get the best out of that anyway so the theory when recording audio is really simple actually the closer the microphone is to your subject the better you're going to pick up your sound also the more controlled your environment is the better you're going to pick up clean usable audio for example and that is where um, external microphones do come into their own a little bit because they're designed um, just to be a microphone whereas your phone is a camera, it does audio, it does emails, it even makes phone calls, for example. Again, please don't worry about it because um, we are gonna look at uh, creating audio just off your smartphone. Ideally, you want to work in a space where you can control the environment. The aim is to get the cleanest possible sound. Make sure though that you're not peaking. That's where your audio is too loud. We can't fix this in post. The other aspect of sound is to enhance the narrative, not just to capture the voice. Although this is the main focus when filming interviews, if you're making a short narrative film or a promo, you may want to think about layering up your audio in post-production. To save on fuel, Scrooge climbed the bare wooden stairs to his bedchamber. Background audio is good at creating ambiance. It draws the audience in, keeps us in the moment, right there with the subject. The other relationship to your film and sound is the score. This adds a dynamic and can detract from any audio issues. So if you haven't quite captured perfect audio, adding a score underneath can take that away a little bit. If you're making a promotional film, such as a trailer or an advert, Music is key as it adds to the overall feel of the film. I'm free.